Holy sh... I'm Exodus, and today I'll be covering video game music. Let's get into it. In the beginning of the video game world, music wasn't really advanced. Game consoles couldn't support recordings of real music, so they had to resort to using sounds of early sound chips. Stuff like programmable sound generators, more known as PSG, or FM synthesis chips. These sounds led to chiptune, which almost everyone recognizes as old game music. This style of music dominated during the golden age of video arcade games. You might remember a few games from this time, like Space Invaders, Pac-Man, and Doggy Kong. After a bunch of major developments in technology, we got the ability to make dedicated video game music. Video game music today is filled with different genres, from classical music, to electronic music, to metal music, to jazz, to hip-hop, to- There's a lot of them, alright? Some of the most influential video game soundtracks are soundtracks like Shenmue, Final Fantasy VI, Super Mario 64, Sonic the Hedgehog, Skyrim, and GTA Vice City to name a few. All of these soundtracks brought in something new to the experience of video games, and matched the vibe of their respective game very well. Video game music has had a great journey throughout time. Nearly all video games have a dedicated and special soundtrack that accompanies their own worlds. But there's one question that I was sent here to tackle. How does music affect games and what role do they serve? On the surface level, we look at graphics, gameplay, level design, and animations, etc etc. But I've never heard people talk about music right away. And it's supposed to be this way. Graphics and gameplay sell the game, while other components are meant to immerse you in the game. Music in games can strengthen the moods and feelings, and set tones in the game. Ever walked around in a horror game, and all of a sudden a scary song comes on, and the hair on the back of your neck stands up? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It all depends on what game you're playing. Action games are suited best with fast-paced music, like metal, rock, or electronic. More calm games are suited best with nice, calm instrumentals. And horror games are best suited with whatever makes you piss yourself. There's some soundtracks that don't really fit the game. There's some soundtracks that really fit the game. There's so many different types of game music out there that you're guaranteed to find one that you'll enjoy. When you're sneaking around in Metal Gear, you have stealthy music building suspense. When you're fighting demons in Doom Eternal, you have some heavy ass metal that was made with a lawnmower? Mech, what the f- Music and games are designed for creating atmosphere and boosting your immersion. In almost every game, there's a soundtrack that helps you get a feel for the game, predict what's about to happen, and figure out the mood of the game. That's what role they serve in video games. And a quick side note, game music absolutely slaps. Like, come on, just listen to this. People would really rather listen to some crappy pop music instead of this? Really? Video game music is made with a purpose in mind, with a vision of the game it serves. It's miles ahead of the same crappy sad love songs that you hear constantly. You want metal? Well, Doom Eternal, Metal Gear Rising, Metal Hellsinger, and Guilty Gear have got your back. Want nice, calm music to set the tone? Animal Crossing and Minecraft are right by your side. This carries over to almost every genre of music out there, and you can find dozens of video game soundtracks that are miles ahead of mainstream music. Game music is criminally underrated and unappreciated in games, but now more people are starting to recognize it for its role. I have no doubt that in the future, game music will be way more advanced and popular 